However, if they don't get a backup Lugio, we could win! Okay, here we go. And the Crobat off the top! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I have been working for days cooking up the perfect Ho-Oh V deck, and it's finally ready. This deck uses Ho-Oh V's reviving flame ability to get four metal energy into play on the first turn of the game. Then you can use Thornton to switch Ho-Oh V out for Dialga V, evolve into Dialga V Star, and get the perfect turn two Star Kronos attack, which does 220 damage and allows you to take an extra turn right away. It is an absolutely brutal deck, and I know it all sounds too good to be true, but it's not. Let's check it out. This whole deck is built to get Ho-Oh-V and four basic energy in the discard pile as fast as possible, so that you can use Reviving Flame on the first turn of the game. Reviving Flame allows you to bring Ho-Oh-V back from the discard pile onto your bench, then attach up to four basic energy from your discard pile to Ho-Oh-V. It ends your turn though, so you really wanna use it on the first turn of the game. Then on turn two, you can attach an extra energy to Ho-Oh V, so you have five energy on Ho-Oh. Then use Thornton, which allows you to switch a basic Pokemon in your discard pile with one of your basic Pokemon in play. And all turns in play and things like that count on the new Pokemon. So this means you can switch Ho-Oh V with Dialga V, then evolve into Dialga V Star straight away and use Star Kronos. It deals 220 damage, so perfect for knocking out opposing Pokemon V like Lugia V or Genesect V, Mew V, and then Metal Blast does 40 damage plus 40 more damage for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you have five metal energy, you're doing 240 damage, six metal energy, and you're hitting that magic number 280 damage to one hit KO opposing Pokemon V Star. If you're up against Mew V Max, you can use Thornton to switch your Pokemon into Drapion V to take big one hit knockouts. If you're up against a Mill Tank, you can use Thornton to switch into Dialga and use its Metal Blast attack to take knockouts. The flexibility of Thornton really shines in this deck, and it is a blast to play. Some would say, a metal blast. Check it out in action and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, I'm playing against what appears to be a real Lugia deck though, a real live Lugia deck, but I'm going first. So that means we have a chance. We can definitely do this. I need you guys to manifest this Lugia dub. All right, I'm playing against Lugia. We've got Mew active, good looking opening hand, love it. What's well, Mysterious Tail? Quick Ball is good. We've got three Metal Energy in the hand as well. I think we just want to increase our hand size. Go get... Oh, Greninja's prized. <sighs> Man. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go get ho -Oh, And... Then we need to find, like, uh, another Quick Ball, Ultra Ball, something like that. So, let's put down this guy. Scoop up Nets. Look again, Ultra Ball is exactly what we wanted. Get that, slam that down. Hopefully they do something degenerate with it. And then we're gonna Ultra Ball away, Ho-Oh and the Metal Energy. And we're gonna go get Crobat. Thank you, Prog Metal, for that sub in the 21 months. And I think we want to attach this energy here and Crobat for four. Okay, Trekking Shoes. Ooh, you're just going to give me the Dialga in the discard pile? Okay. Then uh, I've got two energy in the discard pile. Retreat into Mew. Three energy in the discard pile. Mysterious Tail. For Air Balloon. And we're hoping that 
off this Pokestop, we hit another energy. Let's go, dude. All right. So we got all four energy in the discard pile, turn one. And we go Reviving Flame. So there we go. Turn one, four energy in play. We got the Dialga V in the discard pile. I got the Thornton in hand. We've got the boss in hand. If I can get myself into another energy, all I need is an energy and a Dialga V star. If I can get the fifth energy and Dialga V star into my hand, I can go Thornton and then Star Kronos and then boss one hit KO Lugia. That's probably our best bets, you know, but it's still tough. It's still tough because Lugia is just such a broken deck. So if they if they draw like flawlessly, then we could be in a tough spot. They've got research. I mean, that's a very strong start, right? Three Archaeops in the discard pile. Lugia right there. That's really good. However, if they don't get a backup Lugio, we could win. Okay, here we go. And the Crobat off the top. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, here we are. Thornton. This is it, guys. This is it. This is it. This is it. Uh, we go Mysterious Tail. And we want Scoop Up Nets. All I need to do is just find an Ultra Ball and an Energy. So, we're just going to do this a couple of times. Into Mew, Mysterious Tail again. Ultra Ball, there it is. Okay, so now I just need to find the energy. So we're going to Ultra Ball away all the cards that we don't want. We're going to... I need to find the energy. Okay, so let's thin the deck more. Do this, scoop up net. Go again. Um, that's fine, Mysterious Tail. Thin the deck as much as humanly possible. Trekking Shoes, good. Okay, and then we Trekking Shoes. Saucer, yes, we keep the saucer because then it gives me an out to win off of. We get rid of these guys, go get this, and then let Pokestop rip. There we go, GG's. That's it. Well played, Lugia. Check and mate. Retreat, Star Kronos. And just like that, baby, that's how we do it. That's how we beat Lugia V-Star. The turn to perfect game with Ho-Oh Dialga. Let's go, baby. Woo! And a win streak of 10 with the Ho-Oh Dialga deck. My God. All right, I'm up against Reggie's with my broken Ho-Ho deck. We've got a pretty solid opening. Let's see what we can do with this. Mysterious Tail, we got an Ultra Ball, that's great. So we want to Ultra Ball away. This is tough, actually, because all of these cards in my hand are good, literally every single one of them. They're all great. I could Ultra Ball. Well, let's scoop up net this guy. That's fine. We're going to search for one more card. Quick Ball. Tracking Shoes is fine. So then what I could do is Ultra Ball away, Tracking Shoes, and Metal Energy for a ho -o. Nah, we're going in just... That's, that's weak. We're digging. Of course we're digging. All right, and we Ultra Ball away these. And then we go get ho -O. And then we Ultra Ball away. We like all of these cards. Yeah, so we're going to Ultra Ball away ho -O and Metal Energy. And now we have four Metal and the ho -O in the discard pile, and we're going to go get Crobat. We're going to bench the Mew. Don't want to play the Collapsed yet. Crobat for three. Okay. We've got Scoop Up Nets, which I think, honestly, we just save. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Turn one. Ho-wo. 
and then all I need to do is find a metal energy, and I've got, I don't have the Dialga in the discard pile yet. All right, so we've got a little bit more work to do, but we've got a solid start. And ho -Oh just does 130 damage, you know, and resists fighting. Not that that matters, because it's weak to lightning. And there's the uh, Reggie Lecky right there. So they've got research, discarding gift, Aurora, choice belt on the Regilecki. I have an Avery and this collapsed in the deck and some fat Dialgas. That's like, that's the game plan. That's what we got going on. Do they have it all? I got the turn one. No way you got the turn one. Quit playing with me. They do have two Aurora and a Gift, so actually they might have the turn one. Okay, not yet, but if they draw into the Gigas, they have it. Wow. They do not. Okay. And we get the Metal Energy, but I need a way to get um, my man into the discard pile. And that's not going to do it right there. No, it is not. We'll scoop up net, send up this guy, mysterious tail, quick ball. Okay. Does not quite do it. I would need to get another quick ball or ultra ball. But even then, I don't think that I can do it this turn. But that's fine. That's fine. Slow and steady wins the race, you know? So let's... Attach this energy here. We're going to retreat into our Mew again. Let's retreat. Mysterious Tail. Nice. So we do have the Dialga in the discard pile now. So we can go Quick Ball away. Like my Dialga Thornton. That's fine. And go get Dialga. And then quick ball away Dialga. And go get my Luminion's prize, but I have this Crobat. That's fine. And then we can Thornton our ho -Oh, Saucer to the Dialga. Evolve here. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Oh, I'm nuts. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't need that. <clears throat> cool. And then we uh, scoop up net the Mew go in here and then uh we just star chronos yeah that seems fine well that's pretty good i'll take it and uh i'm gonna take another turn after that one is the thing so i'm gonna take two turns just because i feel like it so then we're gonna go Attach, start attaching energies just to other guys. Honestly, I could attach just energies to this Ho-Oh. -Oh. Um, yeah. That's fine. Anybody, we're just going to want to Thornton into another Dialga or something. So we just want to start getting more energies in play. On the Crobat's okay, actually. And then, do I want to give them a Pokestop? Absolutely not. So we're just going to do that, and then... We'll Metal Blast and knock out the Red Eyes as well. <clears throat> and we find a Mew. So this is fine. Now, we'll see if they're able to respond. They've got Marnie. There goes my Collapsed. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. That's fine. That's good. Good little hand there. Pokestop, great. 
We've got four stadiums in the deck, so plenty of path counters. My Luminion is prized, but that's okay. The goal is to make it difficult for them to keep up pace. After Reggie loses so many, you know, Pokemon like that, we just want to keep the pressure on, keep attacking, eventually just throw that collapse down and make them stumble. And that's exactly what we did. Taking those back-to-back -back turns, you know, we made, them, we made them hurt a little bit, so that's great. Let's... Trekking Shoes. And... We don't need the Ultra Ball. No. We find Dialga. Okay. Let's put down Pokestop. And let it rip. Okay. Got an energy in the discard pile. I don't necessarily want to... Don't want to, like, Let's see if I threaten it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're chilling. Okay. We'll put that there. And Metal Blast for knockouts. Not worth using Thornton. We'll just keep on keeping on. They don't have their... Nice, find another Pokestop. They don't have their Reggie Drago out. So they can't use that to fill their hand or draw more cards. You know, Pokestop is only really great if they have you know, Reggie Drago out because then Quick Balls can thin their hand down. They can draw cards, but they just discarded a research there. I don't know. Maybe the Pokestop's still good for them pretty much at all points, actually, because even just a Quick Ball can make it so that they can find their last Pokemon to be able to attack. And it looks like... Maybe they're going to be able to launch an attack this turn, which means I need to start, you know, finding a backup plan. But this Dialga has done pretty good. I mean, we've taken... It's going to be four prizes with the single Dialga, which is significant. And they just have to Regigate. So no attack. We've got an energy, which is fantastic. That's all we want at this point is just more energies. Let's go Pokestop. And that's exactly what we wanted. We discarded the Dialga. Got another energy in the discard pile. This is perfect. So finally, I can Thornton into this other deck. This is exactly what we needed. I'm going to Thornton the Crobat into this other Dialga, just like I told you we would. This is exactly what I said we were going to do right here. And then we pretty much got the game squared away. Let's go. We did it, baby. We did it. That's it. That's the game right there. GG's. We're up against Mew VMAX with the Turbo ho -Oh deck. We've got the Drapion technology in the deck. So... I think that we should be able to win this one. However, I am playing against a Mew deck with multiple Meloetta and Pokemon catchers. So we'll see how this one works out. I could turn one Drapion, knock out Mew. I mean, look at that. I've got Scoop Up Net and Quick Ball for Luminion, Drapion, knock out. I mean, that's turn one. <laughs> Which is, like, kind of crazy, right? <laughs> so I think, like, that might be the play. They're not going to see this coming. They have no idea what they're getting into, which is awesome. So let's quick ball away the Ultra Ball. And we're going to go get, let's see, Luminion's in there, Greninja's in there. Drapion's in there. Okay. So we're going to do that. Concealed cards. Okay. Quick ball away. Well, we could scoop up net that. We need to go get Drapion. So let's quick ball. Quick 
quick ball away the ultra ball. It's fine. Go get Drapion. Scoop up Netialga. Send up Drapion. Ultra ball away these. Go get Luminion. Luminion, yeah. Go get Serena. Serena, bring up the Mew. Crobat, draw some cards. Pokestop, and... <laughs> this deck, bro. <laughs> what, what is going on? Uh, Pokestop. All right. And then... Uh, that's that's fine. And then... Let's... Uh, Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm just chilling. You know, we can attach like an energy. No, I'll keep the energy. We're just gonna dynamic tail, and I'm gonna put the damage onto Luminion. That's fine. All right, so we just do that, and take the knockout. We get Pokestop and Metal Saucer. So, huh? Okay, so then if they attack with Meloetta this next turn, but then I can just Thornton Drapion again. And the thing is, they won't be able to attack with another Meloetta because they'll be out of fusion energy because I just removed a fusion energy, right? Yeah, I probably should just put the damage on the Greninja. That's fine. I don't think it'll matter, but maybe it does. Yeah, I probably should have just been the Greninja. So I think the, I also want to bench like a Dialga and attach an energy to it or something. Ideally, I would have liked to have benched, I think I should have quick balled away this Avery, but I didn't know what I was going to draw there. So like, I know I kind of have to Thornton this next turn to deal with the Meloetta. But if they attack with Mew, then we just win. Oh, uh, we also don't want them to loss zone. Yeah, that would be bad. And it looks like they are attacking with Mew. They've got Elisa Sparkle. Yeah, if they do that, then we're cruising, dude. They've only got two Genesects. So they can draw up to five with Fusion Strike System. We need this... No Lost City for sure. I would like to keep my Drapion. Things are going to get a little complicated if they Lost Zone my Drapion. Which is fine. We might just have to play two Drapion. <laughs> Which is okay. That's fine. They don't have it! Let's go. Okay. They Techno Blast. And then we promote um, promote Crobat. It's fine. And then we're going to Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to concealed cards okay and then put down this quick ball this Go get this. Saucer. Attach. Pokestop. 
trekking shoes. Yeah, that's cool. And then dynamic tail and do that. So we're going to swing for 380 damage. And then I need to find boss's orders. We have it prized. It's in these four. There it is. Okay. So now the game plan. Thank you, Club NP, for that prime sub. The game plan now is to just knock out Meloetta for game. Even if they lost zone my Drapion, obviously I can just Thornton Drapion again if they don't. But even if they do, then I've got the boss's orders out of my deck. So we can dig for it. Now, the toughest thing would be if they Roxanne, if they like Roxanne path, Law, they can't path and law zone. So if they like Roxanne law zone, I guess. But they've got Silene. That's all they got. So that's fine. They can put a fusion energy back on top and take the knockout with Meloetta, but they don't want to do that because Meloetta can easily get knocked out by Dialga. So it's fine. This is crazy, man. <laughs> We're really doing it. Look, our ho ho Dialga deck. We're doing it. I can't believe it, but you know, we're uh, we're really out here. The turn one Drapion Gus knockout. I don't think that they, I don't think they saw that coming. But we've got the Dialga, and. Uh, we could just go Dialga V-Star and take the knockout in return. So if they're attacking with Meloetta, it's over. No problem. They've already played Silene. They can't disrupt my hand. And there's the Lost City, right? So they can Lost Zone the Drapion. Just one turn too late on the Lost City. Unfortunately, they've got vacuum to remove my air balloon, but that's fine. It does not matter. This does 40 plus 40 more for each metal energy, so I literally have enough in my hand right now to knock out the Meloetta. We're chilling. We just promote Dialga. I've even got boss's orders if they attacked with Mew. We got it all, and that is... GG's Drapion you did good Drapion you did real good well done soldier and that's a wrap metal blast 120 damage final prize of the game see you later Mew VMAX Bro. <laughs> so, what do you think about my ho -O v Origin Form Dialga V-Star deck? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like the stuff you watched here every weekday. Now, y'all have a good one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.